Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Surf 6 and we are going to the convenience store, buy a skateboard. We're gonna get some grub. I'm starving. Let's do this. in the ditch. You've got to be kidding me. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So lucky. Why didn't it go in? Oh, stop by the rock. Uh, that's solid. Thank you, Mr. Rock. This looks like a good shot. Let's do it. Hope that shot was worth it. A lot of climbing for that. <laughs> the woods back on the board <laughs> always take the stairs <laughs> Can't really ride the skateboard in the sand, so we got stairs though. Get some food. Oh, there he is, Mega Brain. Hey, what's going on? I'm in the gym. In the gym? Doesn't look like you're working out. I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> Go. Oh, I see the Pokemon gym. Gotcha. Still play that game? What level are you? I'm like 44. 44? You are the man. I think I'm only level, I'm level 40. I retired. Yeah. And at the time, level 40 was the highest level. Yep. What's the highest level now? It's 50. 50? Oh, good luck on making it to that. <laughs> so I was just on the way to the convenience store to get some food. You want to join me? Sure. And all good. You got your skateboard too. All right, let's do it. Oh, he takes a wipe out, ladies and gentlemen. Seven Eleven. 
7-Eleven. This is a big 7-Eleven, or at least it's got a big parking lot. Section. How about that? Yeah. We're looking for junk food, though. Aren't we? Yeah. I guess he heads right for the junk food. All right, so we're gonna fill this basket up. More or less. Yeah. Where are you gonna start? Potato chips, folks. All right. These are the best ones. Best ones? Okay. Here we go. Oh, love me some almonds and dried fish. But these are good too. Yeah, we're gonna get some drinking snacks, right? That's what you can tell by the beer on here. It's called Otsumami. Spicy fruit. Oh, it's wasabi with cashew nuts, it says, huh? That's yeah. interesting. Okay. All right. How about we get some real food, too? <laughs> chocolate? Do we need chocolate? That's real food, isn't it? Something new. So many choices. Yeah. So many choices. Look at that. I got spaghetti sours. Oh. What's it gonna be? You don't want any chocolate? I want some. Okay. So many choices. Yeah. What's he gonna go for, ladies and gentlemen? The stars white. That's a good choice. Mm. Okay. Seven Eleven's got their own beer. Did you know that? It's called the Brew. Huh? About that. It goes for uh, 194 yen. Not bad. Choice. Good price too, it's only a hundred yen. Should we get some canned goods? Should we get some spam is awfully pricey here, huh? Like five bucks for a can of spam. Let's go to the ready-made food place. mackerel and miso. It's nice that 7-Eleven does the English, huh? I like that. Yeah. Okay. I'll get this one. You want to get some? You want to get salmon? Yeah, I want the salmon. This one? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Got a fish on. Let's get a salad so the chef doesn't have to make it. Octopus, broccoli, and basil. That sounds good. Okay. You want some soba? Supper with yams. What do you think of that? That sounds good. That sounds good? Okay. Ham and cheese. This is my favorite of all time. It's, it's the last one. You ever had these? No. Okay. I'll show you how to eat that. Okonomiyaki? That's pretty fancy looking, isn't it? Okonomiyaki and yakisoba. What do you think? We do that too? Okay. Beautiful looking, huh? Okay. And you feel like curry? You want to try the spicy curry? Yeah. This looks pretty amazing. Chicken, beef, pork, and vegetables. 
something with mochi in it. Jelly brown sugar syrup. How about that? Is that like warabi mochi? It's kinako. Kinako. Okay. I'm going to get this. Or something more colorful. How about this? Red bean paste and dumplings. That's more fancy because it's got the pudding. Yeah. All right. What are you going to get? Strawberry and condensed milk. Does that sound good? <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. Okay, get it. All right. We need something for it's cool time. What's it called? Not it's cool time. <laughs> what's what's this? What's the new thing called? We need something for cool stuff. Cool stuff time. That's what's called. There's a line right now. Anyway, they have a little cool stuff section. Where's the toy section? They don't really have any toys, do they? Like Trump to go. Where's the toy section? There it is. That's a pretty weak toy section, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. 7-Eleven fail on the toy section. Still here, that's good. And action. Hey, Mega, what's going on? Nothing much. <laughs> we, just fin we just finished up. <laughs> and action. Hey, Mega. Would you say that we've never ever bought so much from a 7-Eleven before? Yeah, there's so much. <laughs> 4,500 yen worth, which is about, I don't know, $35. So it's going to be a feast. Will you join us? Let's crack them. What do you have in there? Cheers. I'm having yuzu lemon cider. Yuzu lemon cider. Yuzu is a uh, citrus fruit, and I'm having the 7-Eleven Suntory beer. Cheers and beers. Cheers and yuzu. <sighs> How is it? Refreshing. Refreshing. Same here with the beer. Beer's a bit light. Actually, I've had this before, I think, when it used to be Santori's brand. Yeah, it's just called The Brew. Easy name to remember, right? The Brew. Yeah. Okay. Where are we going to start tonight? we got a bunch of hot items, a bunch of cold items, and we've got some Otsumami drinking snacks as well, too. So go for it. Let's start with the curry. The curry. Oh, yeah. And 7-Eleven was having a curry festival, curry fair, they were calling it. What was it? Curry festival. Okay. And we chose the spicy one. Oh, there is bacon in here. Hello. Hello, bacon. India style curry. Don't go too heavy, though, Eric, because we've got all this other stuff. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Going in. And you always eat curry with a spoon. I've tried so many times to eat it with chopsticks. No go. Going in. That's pretty respectable. Mm. I think there's three kinds of meat. There's beef, chicken, and pork. You yeah. know. Mm, mm, mm. What do you think of the curry? Good. The spice level is perfect. Yeah, it's just about right. Mm-hmm. Lots of flavors. Oh, yeah. Let's move in for another hot dish here. Got to get it while it's hot. It's a big dish. The okonomiyaki. And there's yakisoba. Yakisoba, yeah, the uh, fried noodles on the bottom. Okay. Gorgeous looking, though, so. Japanese savory pancake with the noodles. Yeah, that's kind of the thing about Japanese 7-Elevens is that they really focus on the food stuff. 
the food items are huge. They're always doing deliveries. You know, whenever you go into a convenience store in Japan, they are always having deliveries and you see trucks outside, they're all stock in the shelves with fresh stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, all day long, it, it's, it's happening. So 7-Eleven is probably more of a convenience store for food than any other item, I think. Food and drink, huge, right? No gas, you cannot buy gasoline at a 7-Eleven. You waiting for me? Go, go, go. I wonder if you should eat the noodles and the pancake together. Oh, they glow together pretty good. Yeah, I didn't think they would. Nice. And this actually kind of tastes like a real pancake to me. Like the batter of a real pancake. You know, typically, I mean, it's savory, meaning right, kind of salty, but it's got a sweetness too. Meaning you could put maple syrup on it and it would be good, actually, I think. It could be. Yeah? Yeah. We should try it. <laughs> we got any maple syrup? Jeff, we got any maple syrup? We have honey. Not the same thing, is it? No. <laughs> For a future video. I mean, for 7-Eleven, gosh, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting that much for, like, just bento food, just heat it up. It's pretty flavorful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, your choice. Let's do something different. Let's do the salmon. The salmon. Okay. Nice color on that salmon. That's gorgeous. It's, uh, what, grilled salted salmon, I think they said, right? Yeah. You said on the package? Mmm. Oh, my. Tender, salty, meaty, and I just got a bone. <laughs> what do we have to compare it to? Mackerel with miso, right? Saba. For cooked fish in Japan, I think I've said it before, but saba or mackerel is my favorite, hands down. The miso sauce, I don't know. It is falling apart as I try to cut it with chopsticks. What was I just saying? That saba is my favorite fish and... It doesn't go with the miso, in my opinion. What, what do you think? Do you like it with the miso? Too sweet for me. Yeah, it's too sweet. Hmm. Meh. I mean, the fish is nice. It's yeah, nice soft. and tender. Yeah, definitely. Fish is good. But the miso sauce, it's, you know, it's a popular flavor in Japan, miso. You pretty much can mix miso with anything, mm. right? Okay, is it my turn? Salad number one. This was my choice. Octopus, broccoli, and basil salad. And there's also edamame in here. All right. Love me some octopus salad. And this is... Serve cold. I mean, you could heat it up, but... You taste any basil? I do. You must have got all the basil. Is it at the bottom? Yeah. I don't taste any basil at all. I think the miso <laughs> is still <laughs> lingering in my mouth. It's nice though. It's a good salad. Okay. Well balanced. It's got the potato in it. Got some nuts crunch, right? And chewiness of the octopus. Good. And even broccoli in there. Yeah. So it's your choice next. What, what's that? We didn't get that at 7 Eleven. This is a chef salad. Oh, she snuck one in there. Yeah. It's an avocado gratin, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Got cheese on top. I see that. Do you like avocado? No. No. Okay. But you take a pretty big spoonful. Did you get cheese on it? Yeah. Okay, that might help it. Do it. Mushy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. We should have put some of this on it. You put some of this Tabasco on it. Yeah. Killer. Well, it's good with the cheese. Yeah. It doesn't have any, like, crunchy texture. I'd like it with some onions in it, too, so there's a little bit of crunch. It'd be nice, but... It's good. I mean, avocado, you can't complain about avocado, right? Yeah. Avocado is the bomb. This is the almonds and dried fish. What a weird combo, huh? Yeah. Did you get any almonds or did you just get all fish? Oh. I got some. You got some? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love almonds, so they got to go with fish, right? One fish.
crunchy. Salty and sweet together. All right, down the hatch, I'm gonna do all of that. <laughs> Salty, sweet, crunchy. Interesting. Yeah. But I guess if you're doing a lot of drinking, oh, it just washes it down. It's all right. It is a little on the fishy side. I mean, you're eating like, like, <laughs> it's not so bad. Let's compare it to that guy. It says nuts in it too. Is that right? Yeah. And you actually like these, right? You chose I like these, right? Yeah. Okay. Random pour, but there's only one almond here. There's like three more in the bag. Fine. So these are kind of like what? Like honey mustard snacks? What do you call these things? Pretzels. Yeah. Or spicy pretzels. Got pepper on them. <clears throat> With more almonds, they'd be even better. <coughs> what a peppery. Oh. oh my goodness. Prime. <laughs> Oh. oh, drying from the pepper. That's a win. Yeah. Yeah. Dried sausages. I right. cured sausage. Okay, so try the small one first. It reminds me of like the Slim Jim in America without the heat. No spice, right? Yeah. Pretty salty. Yeah. Okay, going in for the bigger, better sausage, I think. Uh, I like the first one better. This one's got kind of a, like a bologna taste. You know, right? Like a cheap, smelly meat yeah. taste. Yeah, first one was better. <laughs> okay, we'll be buying those. Oh, and it's, but wait, it's got some spice. Okay, so what do you say we take a quick little break here and do some cool stuff? All right, did you bring anything for cool stuff tonight? What do you got? I got this. You got this lame voice in the background. <laughs> cool looking box. How does it work? You got 500 in. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> well, that's not cool stuff. That's robbery. Not in there. Hmm, mysterious. Ah. But it's in here. Sounds like a 500 yen coin. There's no latch or hinge or anything, though. What's up with that? There's a little slot on the top, though. Huh. You got a thousand yen? What? That's freaky, dude. It's stuck. Yeah, it's stuck with my money in it. <laughs> so there's my 500 yen coin. How about that? I still lost 500 yen. <laughs> okay, what are we doing next? We gotta prepare the soba. All right, let's do that. Boom, wonderful job. Slimy, gooey, sticky, what else is it? Yeah, all those things. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. It's got wasabi though. I'm a big fan of wasabi. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I used to hate that Toto doll. Oh, there's more on this, on this part. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. It's one of those things that it takes a while to uh, getting used to of the texture of it. It's right? like natto. 
Yeah, yeah, it's that gooey texture, slimy texture. That's not really popular in Western foods that much, but more about the texture than the flavor. This is the, how many kinds of cheese in there? Five kinds. Five kinds of cheese, ham and cheese. It's a, it's a little mini burrito. The cheese isn't really melted. <laughs> okay, would you like some Tabasco Chipotle on it? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm just like, this way is probably better. Okay. And then if you want more, you just, each bite, you can just put it on top like that. Okay, okay ready? Going in, ham and cheese burrito. Oh. oh yeah. Is that cheesy or what? It's so cheesy. And you've never had this before? No. So I've, I've, been, ha I've been eating these for ages at 7-Eleven. They're dangerous. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so cheesy. Oh, it's so good. It's food porn. And I mean, you don't get much ham, but you can taste it. It's right smack in the middle, right? Yeah. So a few little slices of ham. And the chipotle really takes it. You always have to put hot sauce on this. <laughs> Otherwise, there's, I mean, there's like zero spice. Kids can eat this. You like it with the sauce on? Yeah, I think it's better. Right? No, it just gives it that flavor. Mm-hmm. Five different cheeses. I, I couldn't even name any of them. <laughs> I mean, probably mozzarella. They're all white cheeses, right? There's no yellow, no cheddar or anything like that. We still have some chips. We got to do the chips before dessert, right? And what, what, is, what are the... Oh, wait. There's some money here. Look at all these 500 yen coins. There's six 500 yen coins. That's awesome. Where did that come from? Through the mine. Those are yours. What was that all about? They were, they were on this nice little stand here. I thought somebody was presenting them to me. All right, all right, anyway. Okay, oh, and then we have this here too. What is that? Those are tacon. Do you eat them by themselves or? By themselves. Okay. Looks like pineapple. Oh, they're called skemono, right? Yeah. Crunchy pickled vegetables. And most Japanese will have some pickles with every meal, right? Pickled vegetables, some form of them. There's so many different types. So it's nice, good color. And I don't think we got a close up of that, did we? Here's what they look like. Out of the light, that's what they look like. Yeah, that's, that's as good as we can do for the lighting, sorry. Otherwise, the camera's gonna fall off the tripod. Crack open those kalbi chips. Potato chips are a big deal in Japan, wouldn't you say? Yeah. And you chose those, right? You went right for those. I think that was the first item he pulled off the shelf, so I'm definitely looking forward to these. These are the best ones. And can you read it? It says butter, show you flavor. It says katage potato. So that means crunchy? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I see what you mean. These are like, uh, what do you call them? Heavy, thick chips. Oh my goodness. All right, movie theater. The butter. Butter show you. Oh my gosh. These are really good. Super crunch. Yeah. <sighs> Heavy on the butter, though. <laughs> I mean, I would like to have these in a movie while watching a movie in a theater, but the people around you would be pissed because you'd be <laughs> making too much noise crunching yeah. them. It's right? God, they're good, though. Yeah, I'm forgetting what the name is for these. Just these, like the Maui style chips. They're really heavy. Super crunchy. What are they called, guys? Here's what they look like. Was it worth the close up? So, what kind of chocolate is that? This is white chocolate. White chocolate. Dars brand white chocolate. I like these because they're, you get the little small nuggets. Buttery. <laughs> just like these chips. <laughs> They don't go together. 
Yeah. Mm. Oh. Go ahead, get in there, guys. Seven of them left. Six of them left. I think Dars might just be my favorite white chocolate. We should do a taste test of a bunch of different white chocolates because there's not that many of them. There's maybe four or five companies that make white chocolate in Japan. Yeah, this is the Morinaga company. And we've got our 7-Eleven desserts. Mine is a red bean paste and dumplings dessert. Mine is strawberry and condensed milk. And we got strawberry toppings here. Strawberries are in season in Japan. Strawberries in season. Come on in. I think I need a spoon too. Who eats dessert with chopsticks? <laughs> for the mochi, it's okay, but not for the pudding part. What do you got? There's mochi inside? Yeah, I've got mochi too. Pounded rice. Is it mochi? Yeah. Looks like onion tofu or something. Looks like jello. It's condensed milk jelly. <laughs> There's no rice, yeah. right, if it's condensed milk. But mine is about, it's all sweet red bean paste. And the best part about it is the strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about Anko in Japan, right? Most people love it, but I don't know, some people hate it. And there's no in-between. It seems like you either love it or you hate it. Oh... We've got one more drinking snack that we forgot. Wasabi and meishi? What is it? It's chocolate and it's wasabi chocolate. together? I think so. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, okay. It's cashew nuts. And what are these things called? Those are kaki no tane. Kaki no tane. There we go. That's perfect. Where's the so, wasabi? Yeah, so I was just going to ask. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, the wasabi's in there. Somewhere. Yeah. It's in the, it's inside the kaki, kaki no tane? Yeah, it's inside you. <laughs> it's weird. So, how do we explain, what is the kaki no tane? It's like a, it's a crunchy, it's like a senbei, right? Yeah. Type of rice flip snack. Rice snack. Infused with wasabi, covered in chocolate. And the cashews offer a nice, like, soft, pleasurable experience. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's weird, but, you know, it's, it's nice. Yeah. It's new. It's new. So this is the kaki no tane. That's what it looks like, anyway. That thing, that sort of orangish thing. Okay. So that is going to do it for this one, Mega. We are, are we done? We're done. And I have never, ever, again, eaten so much from a 7-Eleven in, in one sitting. That was incredible. All the prices will be listed down below if you guys want to see how much everything costs. I think it's reasonable, right? Yeah. For sure it's reasonable. We're, we, have, we have leftovers for sure. So where are you going to go today on the... Rating scale, Mega, one to six of your Mega heads. The people want to know. I'm going to go five. Five out of six. What did you enjoy the best? What was your top item? The curry. The curry. Okay. And I think my favorite item was the okonomiyaki and the yakisoba plate together. And then the burrito. I love the ham and cheese burrito. That's always been my favorite item, but. Every time I go in there, I, I eat too many of them. I, I'll, I'll buy that and then something else. So, yeah. Um, me too. I think I'll go five out of six. Five out of six for 7-Eleven Japan. It's good all the way around. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> the hardest part is deciding what you want to get when you're inside there because there's so much to choose from. 
right? So yeah, much to so choose much. from. It's just, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We, we did our best at trying to select different and interesting new items that we haven't had before. So give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, we look forward to reading your comments. Eric and Mega, out. Hey, can I get my 500 yen back now? There you go. Whoa, jackpot, look at this. All right, it's time to play some cards. Yeah.